everybody, this is Praxis, and this is my root cellar, or it's my fallout shelter, depending on my need at the moment, depending on your perspective. It can serve both purposes, uh, and I've been covering it up with this asphalt, because whether it's a root cellar or it's a fallout shelter, uh, I want it to be watertight. I don't want it to turn into a mold factory, because, uh, you know, either way, you want it to be, you know, as dry as possible in there. Uh, one of the great things about manual labor, you know, I've just been rolling this stuff on, is that it kind of frees up your mind to think about other things. And one thing that's been on my mind this week, uh, like many people, has been, you know, the question of, like, these mass shootings that have been going on and, uh, you know, gun control and all that. And, you know, we all know, like, you know, the, there's the two sides, and they're not monolithic at all. I think there's crossover, you know, uh, uh, between the groups. But conservative people tend to, you know, not want there to be a lot of uh, gun control, and liberal people tend to be more okay with that kind of thing. But I was thinking that as different as the two groups seem to be, uh, really, whenever there's one of these mass shootings, the reaction to it is really pretty much identical. The reaction, unless you're like a monster or a psychopath or something like that, is always, that's terrible, that stuff shouldn't happen. I want to be able to protect myself and my family from that happening to us. You know, whether you're conservative or whether you're liberal, that's pretty much always the reaction to it. I, you know, there's, uh, there's no difference when it comes to that, uh, you know, that, that kind of uh, ideological split. You know, you want to be able to protect yourself and your family from it. Where the difference comes is, like, the, the uh, proposed solution, you know, the reaction. Like, well, what do we do? How do we get there? You know, for many conservative people, uh, the idea is you want to, you know, con continue to retain your right to be armed so that if you're ever in a situation, if you're out in public and one of these, you know, mass shooting situations is on folding around you, you want to be able to protect yourself, you want to protect your family, and you want to protect the people that are around you, you know, whether they're conservative or liberal or whatever, uh, again, unless you're a monster, <laughs> that, uh, you know, you, you want to have the ability to keep these kind of things from happening through your own, uh, your own means, your own, uh, uh, you know, approach to it. And, and, and that approach is to be able to, you know, have a firearm so that you can protect yourself, your family, and people around you. For people who are more liberal, more pro progressive, and this is not monolithic, I tend to be more, more liberal on many issues, but on gun control, I tend to be more conservative. So there's, there's people who cross over. But, um, you know, for liberal people, they tend to be more open to the idea of, you know, there being gun control. They think that if you can just get fewer guns in the population, there'll be fewer of these issues. I don't agree with that. I think that, you know, criminals have a notorious tendency to not follow laws. And even if you really were to squeeze all the guns out of the population, which I just think is unrealistic, but even if you were able to do it, there's always different ways that people can do it. I mean, well, this tar itself is flammable. You could like, burn down a building. You could do all sorts of terrible things if you want to do a terrible thing. Um, so, you know, I, I don't tend to, to agree with that, but I do appreciate the, the fact that whether you're conservative or whether you're liberal, your reaction and your goal is one and the same. You want to protect yourself, you want to protect your family, and, you know, we're all just kind of grappling for how to get there. So the next time you're talking to somebody who is liberal, if you're, if you're conservative, or somebody who is conservative if you're liberal, try to keep that in mind that, you know, Independent of what your worldview is, independent of you know how your appro appro I'm sorry proposed solution uh, might whatever that might be to that uh, question, you know we all share the common goal of trying to reduce these things. We don't want to see these things happen. And again, if you're not a monster, if you're not a psychopath, we all share that. So the next time you're talking to someone, keep that in mind. You know before you get really upset or irate with this person, liberals don't want to disarm you if you're a conservative. They just want themselves and their families to be safe. And by the same token, if you're a liberal, conservatives don't want your kids to be shot. They just want to retain the right to protect themselves and their children from uh, situations like this happening to them. So that's it. I think it's good to step back, take a, a, a kind of a look at the bigger picture, because so much of the media is always telling us how we're different from each other. But at our core, unless you're a monster, <laughs> our goals are really 99.9% really entwined with each other. And we can, I think, all live reasonably peacefully with each other if we remember that. That's it. Thanks for watching.